Welcome to the Rockwell Automation Factory Talk Vantage Point EMI Water Treatment Demo. This demo will walk us through some of the features in the demo, such as Excel reports, dashboards, trends, the Vantage Point kiosk mode, XY plots, manager, data entry, and the status items. To begin, once the portal has been loaded, you would see a geographical map on the screen illustrating many cities. Two cities in particular are being monitored within this demo, the city of Mississauga and the city of Toronto. By clicking on the red indicator will allow us to pop up a gauge illustrating the status of influent flows into the particular city. And you'll notice by clicking on the gauge, we can also toggle between its visibility and show the current values and live values from the system. Near the bottom of the report, or the home page, you'll also notice shortcut links to the compliance report, all reports, the manager, trends, and XY plotter client tools. At the top of the menu, there will be a shortcut to the Rockwell Water Treatment demo. By clicking on that shortcut or menu item, it will take us to a navigation tree illustrating the model used for the demo, some reports, and by default loading the superintendent dashboard overview. Once rendered, the dashboard illustrates some key performance indicators around financials, process information, gauges illustrating live data coming from pumping stations, well levels, energy consumption, and reservoir levels. At the bottom of the dashboard is a button taking us to a state compliance report. By selecting the button and clicking into it, will allow us to drill through to the compliance report. Once rendered in the portal, the compliance report is now printable. So by selecting the print button from the, tr from the portal, will generate a PDF document. The PDF document allows us to print the formatted report or save it to disk. You'll also notice on the left-hand side of the navigation tree is the model illustrating the different cities, locations, and reports available to us within the demo. We'll start by loading the Ontario Overview Dashboard. And again, we're going back to this dashboard to illustrate a few things. One, the ability to do pop-up gauges within a dashboard. Two, by being able to drill through to cities that we want to understand where issues may lie. For example, I'm going to click on the city of Mississauga. And by clicking on the city of Mississauga, the system will now drill through to another report giving us location overview. The location overview dashboard illustrates to us the two townships that are being monitored in the city of Mississauga. In particular, we're looking at total influence and effluent flows from all sites. Also available within the dashboard is the ability to drill through to a particular site of interest. So for example, if we'd like to learn more about Port Credit, we simply click on the button for Port Credit. This will now drill us through to the Port Credit Overview Dashboard. This Overview Dashboard now shows us such information as yesterday's totals, current information and charts instantaneous values that are currently being monitored by the system, current temperatures, tank levels, influent tank levels, some charting, and also near the bottom, some key performance indicators such as turbidity, pH, and chlorine. Each one of these key performance indicators at the bottom has a, other capabilities to it, such as the ability to launch a trend. So by simply clicking on the trend button will allow us to plot data about the particular instance or item in the model. If we go back to the dashboard itself, there is another button that allows us to drill to a report. 
So for example, if I wanted to know something about the turbidity, I would simply dr click the drill button to go into the turbidity Excel report. What will now happen is an Excel report will be rendered as HTML to the Vantage Point portal. There's also a shortcut link located within the report itself to take us back to the overview dashboard. You'll also notice if we browse to the left hand side of the navigation tree that there is something labeled as status. Status is a report that allows us to a quick view or a glance of how our different systems are behaving within our model. So for example, we can see that there is actually an issue in the, the province of Ontario at the city of Mississauga. You'll also notice on the right hand side that there is a report associated to the particular city. If I click on the city of Mississauga, it will now drill into the different sites that are available and we'll see that we have issues at both sites. By clicking on Lauren Park, for example, will take us to a more detailed uh, area view of where problems may be lying. So for example, we can see that for some reason our flocculations, finished water, raw water intake, there are issues within all of these areas. By simply clicking into a particular area will take us into a further details as to the pieces of equipment that might be failing. In this case here, we can see that all of our equipment has simply just come back online. You'll also notice on the right hand side, there are links to reports associated to the piece of equipment. So for example, if I wanted to take a look at the water tank overview dashboard, it would take me to the raw water sediment tank dashboard, showing me a graphic of a tank with some levels indicating where things are at. Also within the model, you'll notice that there is something labeled as operator logs. Operator logs allows us to enter data manually into the vantage point storage engine. This is a technique that can handle one to many tags. The idea here is that operators can come to, the, to this manual data entry screen at the end of the shift and enter raw data. They could then simply enter the time period they would like the data saved to and click the save button. This data is now written to the vantage point storage engine. You'll also notice that there's a bunch of Excel reports. Such reports are things like the hourly raw water flow. By selecting on the report, it will take us now to a rendered HTML view of the wa raw water flow. You notice that this is a tabular report with some charting. On the left hand side of the navigation tree, you'll also notice a tab for parameters. This allows us to change the scope of our dates so we can pick a, d a different time frame and maybe a different part of the model that we would like to report on, such as the plant pumping reservoir. And simply by clicking the generate report button, the system will then query for the tanks and, and pumps for that particular area of the model and generate a report for us. If we go back to the navigation tree, other such examples of reports are like the lift station report. Simply clicking on the report will take us to the rendered view of the report and also the parameters that are available to the report, such as being able to select the different lift stations within our model. We jump back to the navigation tree. We'll also see that from the navigation tree, there is a vantage point kiosk mode available to us. By selecting the kiosk report allows us now to render reports randomly over time. So for example, every 10 seconds we will get a new report. In this case here we're looking at a trend for the last five minutes of influent totals. The next report to be generated might be an Excel report, a dashboard, or another trend. So in this case here we're just giving you now a pumping station report for one of the pumps in Lorne Park. We are now looking at a dashboard. So this is the type of technology that's typically used on those large screens, maybe a report that's sitting on your desktop that's continuously scrolling through the different reports available to you. We'll now take a quick look 
at the vantage point model to see how the system was built. By navigating to the vantage point manager, users will see that the model has been developed under the water treatment demo. There starts at a site level. At the site level there are cities. There are two cities defined. Within the cities are different sites, such as Lorne Park or within Toronto, the site of Scarborough. You'll also notice on the right hand side, selecting properties, are the different attributes that are being measured and monitored at those sites. Drilling through to the different sites, we will see that there are different areas to the water treatment process. Users can simply create a new item by right clicking, say new item, and create a new area, or in this case here, can create a new lift station. There's also the ability to create different labs or water analysis, for example, where we're measuring different attributes about our process in the water treatment. By selecting the node under areas, such as finished water, you'll also notice that there are different assets. Each one of these assets, again, will have different measures that it's looking at. To create a new asset, you simply right click, say new asset, and new item. So for example, if we'd like to create a new pump, we sl simply select create pump. And we have, from our selection, a library of different assets we can create. You'll also notice within the system is the configuration of the operator logs or the manual data entry system. By simply copying and pasting whatever tags you would like to do manual data entry on into the tags nodes, that list of tags will become available to the manual data entry screen. All reports within the model are located in the reports folder, such as the dashboards, Excel reports, and trends. Thank you for watching the water treatment demo.